Hi, I'm Andy Wallace, Bugatti test driver. Before we hand the shear on over to our customers, it should be tested and approved by a champion. Hey, give me the key. You have to call Bugatti if you want to keep it. <laughs> Sorry.
Grew up in the 60s, watching you know Neil Armstrong go to the moon. They've got the flag up now, and you can see the stars and stripes. I thought, man, when I get older, I want to be an astronaut. I want to be a fighter pilot. I want to be one of these guys that had the right stuff. And I think in its own way, the car guys, they've got their own right stuff. I've always had a passion for fast cars and had a chance to buy a Mitsubishi 3000 GT and do some racing back in the early 90s. It's uh, unbelievable. I thought, man, if I'm going to be able to continue to do this, i got to find a way to get it to pay for itself. And that's where, in 1991, Hennessy Performance began. Over the course of 10, 15 years, we built and modified a lot of cars. We became pretty well known for our work with the Venom Viper. We had a road and track magazine shootout and we brought one of our Venom Vipers to that event and it did really well. It beat the Bugatti Veyron at 200 miles an hour. And after that I thought, what's next? You know, we built a thousand horsepower car, what can we do? And I kept thinking, I want to build a lighter car. I want to have a car with a thousand horsepower, but much lighter weight, like 2,000 pounds rather than 3,500 pounds. We had an artist draw it up, looked at it, I'm like, that looks really cool. And then the next thing I know, I'm at SEMA. Some journalist says, hey, what's new? I showed him a picture. This is our Venom GT concept. A week later, I had an order for the car. And all of a sudden, crazy idea turns into supercar business. There was never a grand plan to build the Venom GT other than it was a crazy dream. We built 13 Venom GTs. The first six were hardtops. The last seven were all roadsters. And along the way, we learned a lot about the car. We beat Bugatti for fastest top speed honors at 270 miles per hour. We set a Guinness World Record. And the final chapter of the Venom GT story was when we went out to top off and set the record for fastest convertible at 265 miles per hour. Now I'm excited to share with you that we have started a Hennessy Special Vehicles. We took all of what we learned from the Venom GT and we've applied that into an all new car, the F5. How does a small company from Texas design, test, build a hypercar that can compete with or beat the best from Bugatti, Ferrari, McLaren? The simple answer is, is we have to be very creative. We wanted to evolve the performance and improve the performance, top speed, acceleration, but also add more refinement to the car. I really like being the underdog. VW and Bugatti have got great resources and engineers and a lot of money, and we have a lot less of that. But what we don't lack is enthusiasm, passion, and a desire to be the fastest.